Hi, good morning. Give me a sec to find this video. camera and come say hi to you guys so everyone sometimes people get worried when I go off grid like is she dead <laughs> is she okay so I've been off grid so I thought I would come say hi to you guys send you guys some energy to and do a really quick weed feed I'm not gonna be real live for a minute I'm waiting for Brittany. I'm summoning Brittany. Good morning Francisco. Hi. So I said should I just go do a cop <laughs> drama live feed because that's all I have going on here is level cop drama um, I'll just go into it right it makes me feel better to purge out my bullshit on camera so maybe if anyone else is, has been through similar situations or is going through similar situations it might help enlighten them with this kind of stuff right so I feel like I'm doing amazing and it's funny because I told Allison this a week ago I was like I'm ready because Whenever you feel like you're doing like top of the world, amazing, you know something usually will come to, come to nail, nail it down that ego trip you're on or whatever's going on. You know that. Come on. You can only have smooth sailing in earth school for so long and you're going to get nailed with some crazy lessons. So I was ready anyway. So I'm feeling amazing, right? I'm doing my mission. I just went to London. I'm hanging out. I must be doing good because I see we have some haters talking about me on here. So I'm feeling pretty good about my mission, my journey, where I'm at in my life. Yesterday morning, not even 9 a.m., I go get the door. The cops are back. He had like a little note card <laughs> in his hand. I get the door, of course. I have to get the door. So he has like a little note card in his hand with my husband's picture on it with like two other people's information. And he asked for him. I think it's cute that they want me to confirm his identity. You know, they can't break the Data Protection Act, but they want me to, right? So they come knock on the door and ask for him. There's no way in hell I'm going to cooperate with their games and identify him. So I'm just like, yeah, can I ask what this is regarding? <laughs> can I ask what this is regarding? He says he can't tell me. I said, hold on, did my usual slam the door in the cop's face real loud to like just slam the door, right? It's my usual tactic. I go get my husband and I say, they're here to arrest you. <laughs> I don't sugarcoat stuff, right? <laughs> I'm not going to play around. That's what I said the last time the cops came to the door. I said, the cops are here. I'm pretty sure they're here to arrest you too. Uh, he taught, he chatted with the cop from the upstairs one the <laughs> on video. It's on his page. And the cop says he didn't know if it was a live warrant, as in a judge signed it. He didn't seem to know anything about it. Okay, so it's like 8 a.m. this morning. <laughs> okay, flash forward to today. It's like 8 a.m., okay? I get up real early, too. I consider I get up early, okay? So I'm not even, like, up yet. I'm just waking up. It's 8 a.m., and the cops are on the phone. So I have been studying archetypes with the body graphs in these groups. I've been kind of getting some new training in it. It was a system I learned years ago and I'm getting some new fresh perspective from where I'm at now looking at this system in a different way. And so my husband is a projector, which is an archetype, which I don't really, I don't know a lot about prior to coming to learn with him. So I got to witness the phone call with the cops this morning though. And he had a cop call him and basically say, we're going to arrest you. We have a warrant. And they were just threatening him like, we have tagged your car too. <laughs> but um, my husband has a pretty good point. I didn't get any court paperwork. So how are you going to say I didn't go to court without serving me? So they seem to be making a lot of technical errors on his court case, right? Errors. I'm sorry we didn't give you a court case, but we have a warrant to arrest you now. They seem to be making a lot of errors, I'll just say as them not, follow, them not following the law and their own procedures <laughs> from my perspective because I was at court and they didn't give him a court date. And then they're trying to say we gave it to you at court. I was not the only one in that courtroom. There was no court date given to him. He's been sitting here a month waiting for his papers. And then they just try to say like he missed court and all this stuff. So it's kind of mind blowing to me too. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, now he has to go turn himself into the police. 
I saged my house like a minute ago. I just saged my house real over the top. I put some black salt across my steps again and I put some new energetic barriers up. At the least, it makes it hard for them to play their games when they can't enter my home. It makes it a little bit harder where they, now they have to go harass them in the matrix that they can't really do a lot here on home, my home turf, right, my house because I have um, protection things, mechanisms in place. That's why they want him on, in their home turf, the courts. They want to play with him in their areas, the courts, the jails, these systems and things like that. It's just so mind blowing to me because this is like, this is like extreme targeting, like where they really do target people as parts of social experiments using the government and things like that. And I know it sounds so mind blowing, like, yeah, right, but it really does happen to people who are non-compliant with these systems. Um, once the system doesn't like you in some capacities, this stuff really could happen to you. I know everyone's like, this is crazy, it couldn't happen to me. It really could. I had something similar happen to me years ago, too. So I'm very open to all this stuff like that you wouldn't even believe. It was stuff that led to my awakening and that things aren't what they seem around here. There's a lot of electronic targeting that goes on, too, I see. It's mind blowing to me. So that's where I'm at. I am now waiting for my husband to get arrested. <laughs> that's the next step. I like to lay everything out. And I'm really sick of people not listening to me too. Because I can just tell what's going to... I know the probabilities are changing all day long. Based on our choices and things we do. But you can kind of get a good grip of what... Good idea of what's going to happen too. So I can kind of tell how things will play out. Based on the moves that they're making. And the moves we're making here. We think the cops don't like being on YouTube all the time, too. I had someone that the second my husband posted his cop video, they wrote like a public post about me like, this is raw of sparks of divine light healing and look what a mess her husband and she is and blah, blah, blah. I like to put this stuff out there as learning experiences, the lessons I'm going through because I'm, I'm so grateful. Yeah, I was grateful as fuck when the cops came to my house yesterday. It rearranged my entire Sunday. And it is going to give us an opportunity for some further closure. So I was actually really grateful to be handed these lessons because I get to put what I know into practice this way. So I'm actually thrilled that I'm giving an opportunity that maybe I can be of service on my mission. And um, I think people should be less judgmental about other people's lessons. You know, it's not anything I'm drawn to me sitting here or anything I'm doing for me to be colliding with these lessons. But it is needed on some level. So I'm right where I should be doing what I should be <laughs> at all times. I know people can act concerned like, oh my God. Yeah, we like to put this stuff out there though to wake people up because these courts are not following laws and procedures. That's my only problem with it. That will be corruption. <laughs> and they're the ones making the laws and then they can't even follow their own laws and their own procedures and their own regulations and stuff like that. That's the main concern that I have with all this stuff that it's not legal. <laughs> None of it's legal that I've been observing in this kind of clusterfuck court scenario. It's more concerning to me that there's a child in the middle of it, too. That there's a child growing up in the middle of this crazy situation that is going to become aware at a future point in time of the crazy stuff that happened between his parents. That's concerning to me, too, like on so many levels. <laughs> That they're trying, that's best for the child. The government thinks that's best for a child. So that's concerning to me on every level, too. The government's doing a lovely job mediating, I see. Lovely job. They should be involved in everything. <laughs> they should regulate our food, our marriages, our children, everything. They're doing a fabulous job, I just thought I'd say. What's going on with the energy? So I wake up this morning. <laughs> I have tons of jokes. I woke up this morning. I see my space alerts. I have like 500 space weather apps. And one of them is like coronal hole facing earth now. <laughs> okay, we have been getting hit with a lot of geomagnetic energy. It's probably from the eclipses. It's changed our entire energy cycle this month. So your body should be feeling the urge to be resting this week. It would normally be our week re to rest. But we're getting nailed with solar energies and more are on the way. So I was joking around. I put up an ascension storm update and I said we're in a space storm with no end in sight. 
It's not too far from the truth though. That's what I've been saying for like a week and a half now. <laughs> Here's a three day forecast. I will let you know after this point. So we have all of these energies come into the planet and there's really no end in sight. So we're expecting some intense energy. I've been having to chug a lot of water. I look at this kind of chaos hitting my timeline, right? Chaos, it's kind of chaotic in the middle of our workflow. I couldn't work today. My husband can't work today too. So we're trying to do our prison planet stuff too, right? Monday morning, right? In the middle of our workflow. That's always great to start out the week. Okay, so it's kind of chaotic. So that could be many timelines converging into one. When we draw chaotic circumstances, whether it's police, car accidents, crazy stuff happening all at once, maybe you just feel a little overwhelmed, like everything's hitting you, um, that's a sign that you have multiple timelines that could be merging into one for you too, these kind of things. So we're making big shifts with this energy. Yeah, Francisco, how are you? I saw that funny video yesterday. I was laughing so hard yesterday all day long, like I couldn't help it. Laughing at the cops again. Laughing at that video. I was just like... So high vibe, laughing over here. All you can do is laugh. Laughing is a powerful antidote. I don't think people realize that. We're talking about alchemy. And so, you know, you have an opportunity to alchemize things instead of taking things offensively and being offended by things, you can laugh at them. I was on this vegan post yesterday in this group. I don't even know how I ended up there. <laughs> the universe just draws me along. I ended up on this vegan post and I'm talking about rainbow fit dimensional frequencies and people were calling me a judgmental asshole and saying that I was triggered. So I think I was triggering them because people's words tell a lot about them and all I could do is laugh. Like, <laughs> all I could do is laugh while they're calling me names and projecting themselves all over me. So it's kind of like P this morning, I noticed he's talking to the cops and the cops started to be a real asshole. He called him delusional. Yeah, when he told him that he needed to follow the law and procedure and give him a court do document before they go to arrest him for not going to court, the cop actually called him delusional. He started screaming at him and level fucking triggered. <laughs> so I noticed the cop is calling him up and trying to project some bullshit on him. And he comes in contact with a projector and all he gets is his own bullshit amplified and thrown back at him on some level. That's what the projectors do, right? Someone projects their unhealed trauma, garbage, bullshit on you. They get it back real real fast, I noticed, right? Just their own bullshit they're throwing at you. So projectors can be hard to deal with if, um, you know, you're at a place where you're, where you're in your own bullshit, lost in the illusion, <laughs> asleep, you don't have your life together. If you come in contact with a projector, it can really project those things back at you in an intense kind of way. Yeah, the cops are back. They're ruining my entire workflow. <laughs> I said we're in purgatory now to my husband. We're now in purgatory where we cannot move forward on our path. We can't work. We can't do anything until we sort this bullshit out. So it's like being in purgatory too. I feel like I've been in limbo for like 24 hours where I can't even move or do anything really. It's not good for my mission. It really isn't. <laughs> so I have these assholes you guys probably know who they are Francisco does so I have these assholes that take his post about the cops and my cop YouTube video and they start talking shit about me and my healing site and right and they start calling me a loser and saying all this stuff about my mission right blah 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 maybe we're doing right where we should be right maybe we're right where we should be doing the lessons we should be and people should be a little less judgmental over here but hey so I can see why you know we're in this situation you definitely need to rest more self-care so I'm unplugged I'm off grid I've been chilling I'm gonna be doing cord cutting in our awakening to ascension group today it really fits my theme I've been cutting my cords here often right I've been cutting our cords here all the time the past couple days so it fits my theme anyway I'm doing a lot of cord cutting releasing letting go P says he's surveilling them too and has an eye on them too <laughs> They needed a projector to step in and get their bullshit projected back. So P, P finally collided with them on a post about us on his wall. And I thought it was lovely work. We may need more projectors to be stepping up and assisting us. I know that we can do a lot. I'm a manifestor generator and I can create a powerful energy. But sometimes we need help directing that energy too. And so we're going to find that those projectors and reflectors are very powerful in helping um, the healers and the generators too. 
more self-care. I have been in the bathtub for two hours. All I can do is sit here and think, well, he better be home by the time I have to take my cell bath later tonight, right? That's all I can do is think good thoughts about it because, you know, they can plant these seeds of fear. <laughs> fear, we're coming after you, 8 a.m. We're coming after you. You're on our, Ameri our UK Most Wanted list, right? You are on our most wanted list. We are coming to find you and hunt you down. So all they can do is plant plant these seeds of fear. And I noticed that's what the doctors do. You're a little kid. You're going to have heart disease like your parents. You're going to have diabetes like your parents. They plant these seeds that grow into these dangerous things, right? Seeds of fear trying to threaten him again. I said, you guys just keep threatening him and acting on those threats I noticed, right? <laughs> threatening you. So that I, if, I, if I'm afraid, I'll sit here and think, oh my God, he's going to go to Illuminati prison for the rest of his life. Oh my God. And then I'll create it. That's all they can ever do, these negative entities, is plant these seeds and we do it to ourselves on whatever level. Same tactics, gaslighting, calling him crazy. Then they, when he won't comply, they call him crazy and delusional and act like he's crazy and out of his mind because he's not complying with their fucking toxic tactics that they're using on him, right? It's the same kind of narcissist tactics, negative entity tactics. You'll find the narcissist and negative entity are one and the same. So it's like the narcissist playbook when you're dealing with the government, so it really is. Like, on whatever level. It's the same thing. Negative entity playbook. They like to disguise it. Narcissism, a disorder in our book, right? It's a mental disorder. Be nice to people with mental health issues. It's you. <laughs> you need to have more compassion for this person. So they have done a good job of disguising their tactics and burying them places and normalizing them. Oh, we're doing the heart shocker this week, too. Brittany's going to do hers first. I'll probably do mine tomorrow. I'm hoping this drama just ends today. I got up, showered, like, okay, let's do this, right? <laughs> got up, showered, staged my house, like, can we just get past this? So I'm hoping we clear up all this stupid drama today, and I'll be back to do heart chakra, and, um, and then just normal cards tomorrow. I got new chakra cards that I'm real excited about that I'll do tomorrow, too. I've been doing a lot of work at this house, too, like just stupid things to bring the frequency up like I've been doing tons of work here too so I'm real excited about that too it's gonna warm up here and I'm getting outside I am going to see crop circles okay and I know this sounds crazy but they are they have people that sell crop circle tours <laughs> for the summer so I don't feel that bad right they do have people that sell these tours ahead of time okay so I'm gonna go see these crop circles I'm I'm very extraterrestrial connected I'm more connected to space than really anything, source and space, right? I'm very, very connected in a galactic kind of way, though, more than anything. I'm still learning how to tune into elemental energies and things like that. I feel much more comfortable on galactic frequencies, if you know me. So, I do my mission <laughs> galactically. I'm, I like to joke about it, but I really do. So, I mean, if anyone can get hooked up with crop circles, it's going to be us. So... I was trying to get a date. I put an event up on my page already to get ready for it because I'm putting my usual lots of crop circle videos in it as I'm getting trained in this subject. <clears throat> so I put the event up. I, I get the date. Yeah, from my guys. I get a potential date. I get dates. I start downloading dates of when we're going to do this trip. Okay, I'm getting ready for it. And it was really funny that I'm looking for my target date in July. Okay. <laughs> like two hours later. I signed up for this crop circle connector site that will email you when there's crop circles anywhere in the world. It's like 20 pounds for a lifetime membership and they will email you. Um, I would probably check it out because they have them in America, they have them in Canada, they have a lot of them in Australia and the UK. If you're in one of those countries, maybe check out this site and maybe you could find one near you. Okay, so I signed up for this site. We find that they do crop circle tours like I just mentioned with the Stonehenge tour. And it's the same dates. We're already going to the rocks the summertime. It's right with the equinox. When they do the summer equinox, it matches up with the height, the peak of their crop circle season too. So when you do this tour, they try to guarantee that you'll see like five crop circles. I said, that would be awesome. We're already going to be in that area going to the rocks. So maybe we can go to the rocks twice. <laughs> maybe we can do the... 
you know, when it's open and they do their festival, and then we can do this private tour because we've been dying to get a more private access to the rocks too. So I'm for sure making my friends sign up for this stone, this uh, crop circle tour on top of it. We can also go find our own crop circles. I noticed that that crop circle tour site uses the crop circle connector to find their crop circles as well, <laughs> the one that we signed up for. So they just use the same site anyway and find them, but they do tours. It looks really, really cool. They do haunted stuff too. They do ghosts. So Allison's terrified of ghosts. So it sounds fun. They do. They have a lot of ancestral energy. And at, I always say it wrong. Avesbury, right? They have a lot of ancestral energy there. So I'm focused on crop circles. I got Stonehenge twice in six months. <laughs> I'm going to go in March and then I'm going to go for the summer solstice. So I'm trying to plan my trips. My mission's going good, right? I'm doing my energy work. And then guess who collides with my partner, my husband's lessons with the cops and all his stuff he's manifesting. It's only a matter of time before my mission and his kind of collide on some level, right? <laughs> So, those equinoxes are powerful for what happens to the veil, the dimensions, things being accessed. There's a lot more, um, there's a lot more elemental energies at play during these. These storms are amazing. We have the craziest energy right now. That's why a lot of people feel, probably feel like you can't move, ascension symptoms, maybe just more tired, things like that. We have a powerful, um, energy for manifesting right now. Very powerful. We're creating our entire year right now with the thoughts we're having this month. So we have a lot of creative energy flying around. Let's see, I got Lisa on here, galactically connected. So I've already been doing what I do and sending demands to the, back to the universe. I need this, this, and this to do my mission or I can't do it. So I'm going to want a badass crop circle. We want like raw, put in the ground. <laughs> We want, I got like a list of ideas too that I sent back. We could get raw, put or some symbols for that mean raw. Maybe we could do the flower of life. I always like those kind of crop circles. We want like a good one too. We don't want like the little cheesy one that they just had. Like you know what I mean. We want like an over the top crop circle too. So I've been doing a lot of research on crop circles. I believe that they are to heal the water supply, and that's why so many of them happen here. That they do things to the water and the earth that we live in a toxic place. Now, I know that, <laughs> I'm just gonna, just be open with me here. I know that we all think that they're extraterrestrial, but just hear me out on this. In my reality, they may be fractal patterns, like if you like were to do mushrooms and you were to see all the fractal shapes of the universe, right, it would be playing out in these beautiful designs, sacred geometry, um, symbols and things like that. It may even be an energetic imprint from the universe. <laughs> I mean, they don't really know where they're from. They could be extraterrestrial, but they could be an energetic imprint from that source energy that imprints into the earth that as it's moving and creating these patterns and shapes and creation, it could leave some type of imprint. I'm open to ideas. Now, um, clearly, I believe that they have extraterrestrial frequencies at the least, so they could be either pure, you know, an imprint of pure source energy or an imprint of extraterrestrial frequencies. And either way, it's a powerful energy. We've had people that have gone in those mazes where it really affects your energy. They say that it leads you back to yourself, puts you in the now, connects you better to those spiritual frequencies, and it those kind of just people being around them, it's had profound effects on their frequency and things like that. Now I'm into energy. Energy is quantum. It means I can sit right here and it's going to be just as powerful as if we're having coffee and chat in real life. So I can use film and photos to send energy, to distribute energy. I do it on a daily basis. So you can look at film videos and photo content of these things as well and be just as impacted on a frequency level. I was watching a lot of crop circle videos and some of them were doing crazy things to my vibrations just watching those frequencies. I believe it works a little bit better because it's not like you guys are just pulling up a YouTube video of crop circles watching it. You guys know me good. So you're able to better connect with my energy and better kind of receive that energy too. So I'm very excited to go film these things. I was like, I'm already like talking to about talking about it to Mike and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm so excited 
to be doing this. I think it's like next level for my mission. I'm trying to manifest bigger. Crop circles sound good as a good way to try to manifest something bigger around here for me. So that's what I'm working on. I spent like two and a half days just sitting here thinking about crop circles, like watching crop circle videos, going and looking at the sites, right? Picking dates, <laughs> checking it out. This is how I create. Yeah, I put a, it looks so obvious too. I put a nice, the whole bag of black salt across the step right there and it's pink too. So you can really see it too. And I did a nice little, you know, put some energetic boundaries up using my words and energy and intent. I just like to make it clear that no one is able to enter my space without my permission and no negative entities are ever allowed in my space ever. And it works amazing. <laughs> can tell the cops don't want to come here they want to they want to harass them at work <laughs> you can tell it works it kind of just you know because then they had to tiptoe around me you can just really tell it, it works it puts things on a new level these these systems need your consent they were calling him to try to get it <laughs> they need your consent for anything they're trying to do too it's important to remember that so they hate him because he refuses to play their games and give them permission for what they're doing. So it's a free will violation when he won't. All they can do is use fear and coercion and threaten to take his freedom and their usual tactics. But it's important to understand that they need our consent. So people usually get afraid and give it to them, right? You got arrested for weed, you're a criminal and people will comply agreeing with it, giving them consent. I definitely use the black salt. I loved it. <laughs> I was going to salt the whole house. If you know me, I get the big bags of salt for the bath, like the real big bags. I was going to salt the whole house, but I did the front steps finally. It felt really good. Um, I've been lighting a lot of incense too. Keeping my space good. It's feeling really good in my house though. Um, before the cops, right? I'm like, oh, my house is feeling amazing. It's feeling so good here, right? So the energy's feeling really good. Bring the frequency up of your house because it's gonna really affect your frequency living there. I saw a healing post that was like, get rid of your favorite um, t-shirt you wear to bed. Yeah, the old one. <laughs> you know, the favorite pajama pants you have that are like 10 years old, get rid of that stuff. It's time to get rid of the old things in your life and to bring some new energy into it. So if you have old things that you're really attached to, I have this stuffed animal. You could view that as an attachment. I can't sleep without it at night. I lost that stuffed animal. Like thought it was gone forever and then um, my brother saved it and brought it back to me. So, you know, I mean, so that was probably an attachment. <laughs> I figure it was an attachment. So finally I broke that attachment and let it go. Your things can become attachments to your energy too. Try to get rid of the old things that you have around. Hi, Rosemary. I'm finally back to work getting to do your chart today. I took a good weekend recharge, though. I had a lot of stuff going on here. So I just kind of had to unplug at that right here. <laughs> I tried to do my weekend off. Um, I did a recharge. I'm back. I'm going to be working on my site today. It's good to be back to work finally. Rosemary's in Facebook jail. I am too all the time. Someone was just like, I'm cleaning up this group and anyone not active. Thank God they didn't delete me because I am always blocked from commenting or posting or anything in groups that I do not am in like 99% of the time Facebook has my account like permanently group banned it's crazy yeah listen Emma the way music makes water or sand shape in patterns yeah like that I'm not even joking like vibrations like from the universal uh, vibrations in some type of way I'm not sure I'm just excited to go check it out we will go check out the crop circles you know that the law of one, this is why I don't like it anymore. While I like the law of one, not the written text, the law, the law, actual law of one that we're all one. While that resonates with me, um, I was teaching the law of one material and I had to quit teaching it. Like on some level, I was seeing things that just didn't resonate with me. They say that the Machu Picchu structure and the Stonehenge structures are negative structures on the ley lines and that they will make you service a self and that they have a negative vibration. I had to actually go there to investigate that and I'll tell you that is definitely not the case. Um, I was open to it though, right? 
I'm always open to stuff. <laughs> I'll go check it out for myself. So I found that definitely was not true. And there were a few other things that I, I saw in that channeling that concerned me. So I look at it like any kind of other negative energy channeling um, where it's like 90% 90, 90 truth, 10% agenda. And I will remind you that the person who channeled it killed themselves. So that's a red flag for entities right there. That one of the members of the channeling group actually ended up committing suicide and kind of went through this crazy ordeal. So it just kind of confirms for me that they were probably channeling negative entities, not realizing it. Um, so it has a lot of truth in there, but then it's concerning the rest of the agenda that they put in there too that I saw. Some type of frequencies. I don't know. These things happen rapidly. This guy was like, I was watching the scrub circle video. <coughs> this guy went to the store for 20 minutes and came back and his whole thing was crop circled. But I will say that they have a lot of photography of UFOs near these crop circle sites. So I don't think it's a coincidence that they happen. The crop circle is so close to these sacred sites. I look at um, Stonehenge as a Stargate porthole. So it would make sense that interdimensional travels would, you know, remain closer to those gateway areas that they're using to access these planes on whatever level. I'm excited to go back to Stonehenge when it's warmer out too because, you know, I just want to walk around there barefoot and run around there. And I did get barefoot last time, but it was frozen and real cold. So I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to have a bunch of people. Francisco is coming. Allie is coming. Who knows who else? We want our whole admin list to come. So we're going to plan um, a couple trips. Like I said, I did put up events because I'm going to be doing live feeds for the Crop Circles and Stonehenge. I did put up three events on my business page. I put um, the next new moon is going to be powerful. The effects will last for like three weeks. So our next new moon we're gearing up for, I'm going to do a live guided meditation on my feed. And I put an event up for it too, because I'm going to do um, an activation. Yeah, we need to earth more, connect to the earth. So I put up some events on my page too. Sherry's coming too. Sherry's heading our mission, right? <laughs> Um, so, okay, so this is what else I'm manifesting. I just have to stay really focused on what I'm manifesting in my life because all the outside stuff trying to influence my vibration. So I have this tattoo on my back and it's Hebrew letters, but I've outgrown those places, if you know me, right? I've outgrown those spiritual places of learning on my own journey and it doesn't really represent who I am anymore. I got it when I was really young and asleep, right? And so Allie um, is designing some type of wings so I can cover it up on my back. <laughs> this is what we're doing. So we came home after getting London tattooed and <laughs> Allie is um, trying to cover it up and draw me wings and she's, Sherry has a horse. She's going to turn into a unicorn. So we want to go back to London because Allison wants to make us meet her in Francisco there. So we want to go back to London and then stay. We might even need two days in London, like a night or two, get tattooed and go to the rocks. So Allison's designing me like wing tattoos too. So Sherry's going to hook up. She's going to email. We're doing our office meeting too. She's going to email the tattoo people with my tattoo too and ask them how much it'll be and can we get the tattoo place reserved for a day or two for however long it'll take to do this stuff. Mine might take two days. Fuck me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna meditate while I do it. It was a good it was good practice for me because I'm very sensitive now. Like when I was asleep I wouldn't have been as sensitive to this stuff, but now I'm much more sensitive to everything around me, so I was a little concerned getting tattooed. But I'm really good at putting myself in meditative states too, so I just kinda put myself in a meditative state and left <laughs> left while I was getting tattooed. Francisco's getting tattooed there too. Mine's healing nice. They did it real deep because it's so cracked. You can tell that they really probably did a good job too. So they did a good job. Hi. I'm just ranting about the UK cops again. Violating free will again. Coming to my house. Harassing me. <laughs> they don't want to do this exchange for my husband here because they don't want to be filmed. <laughs> We've been making videos for like 24 hours straight of cop officials and core people on the phone and stuff like that. They don't want to be on YouTube. They, I think the cop got annoyed that I was on Facebook again. <laughs> I keep getting annoyed that we keep plastering their faces all over Facebook and social media. So, 
I'm manifesting. I gotta just stay focused on manifesting right now because we're creating our entire year just based on, you know, our hopes, dreams, hopefully not fears <laughs> that we're putting out and just the vibrations and, you know, the thoughts we're putting out for the things we want to draw to us. We're going to Kinky Inc. <laughs> I love it. We're going to Kinky Inc. I had to get a ring tattoo so if they take my husband, I can just remember him better. <laughs> manifested well played this is the key to unlock him <laughs> the key this is a key we may need it later on our adventures so if we lose our keys I have a master key for our room unlocking the prison <laughs> anything that we need to unlock so I got these weed lollipops I should just probably go get one, right? <laughs> I, got, I got these weed lollipops and I had them for like a minute and I didn't try them. So yesterday after the cops came, I just ate a bunch of like weed snacks and I was eating the weed lollipops. I was so fucking high too. After the cops came, I was like, I hope they don't come back today, right? So I was eating the weed lollipop last night and it was a lifesaver. Highly recommended. Once again, saving my mission. So, oh yeah, so I'm putting these weed feeds on YouTube. So that's where these people are getting my videos from. They're not in the weed group or anything. They're not in our groups because they're not allowed because they're negative entities and they can't enter our areas. But they can go watch my videos on YouTube like everyone else. So I have the same people talking shit about the cops or talking shit about me smoking weed like they're the police. I thought it was so cute when people play mini cops. Like, oh my God, you can't do this. You can't do that. Trying to impose their will on me. Because in my reality, that's cute as fuck and that I'm allowed to with my free will be doing this. So you guys can keep following the government and their rules and their limits and their regulations. But um, I don't even reside in that world. <laughs> You'll have a hard time imposing those rules on me. So I thought it was cute um, because, you know, we're going to see the world change, UK included, <laughs> where the world is going to change fast in terms of pharmaceuticals, regulations, weed, and legalization of weed. The ball is already rolling, too. Good, you're being tattooed. Good, what are your ideas? <laughs> I'm all for it, why not, right? I'm not allowed to do that either. <laughs> I have a list of you're not allowed to do this, this, and this ever. I'm not allowed to go to California, I'll die. I'm not allowed to go to the UK, I'll die and get deported. I'm not allowed to go to London. I'll get stabbed. My entire bucket list is like, this is why you can't do this. Me and Vanessa, when we drove to California, we put all our shit on the back of her fucking car. And these people were like, that shit is not going to make it to California. It's going to fall off. This lady was so concerned about us on the where we were at like a gas station. She was like, this shit is going to fall off. Oh my God. And we're like, no, it's really not. <laughs> we'll take our chances. We don't care. <laughs> and guess what? We made it to California with all that fucking shit on the car. So I know people are always like, it won't work. You can't do this. You need to do things my way. But I've unplugged from other people's opinions at this point. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing over here. More ink. I'm not allowed to do that either. It's against several religions. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not against Christianity since it is against Judaism and all the religions that they ripped their religion off of. But hey, it's against several religions too. You will not go to heaven if you're tattooed, I swear. That was the way of thinking that I grew up in with my family that if you get a tattoo, it's worse than murder. It's the worst thing you could do to your body. <laughs> Oh my god, so speaking of things, I know I look kind of like a mess today, but I had, to, I had to come laugh on feet a little bit. So I got this thing again. I got one at the pat tattoo place, which was nice, much nicer, and I lost it already. I said I've been having a rough time here <laughs> when I wake up and my piercing's gone, right? So I must have had a rough night in the astral. I lost it. I ordered another one on eBay and got it. So, making progress here. They're not allowed to. I'm going to say we are allowed to. And we can have a battle of free will. Me and the government. They're already at my door. What do I care? We can have a battle of free will. I'm going to say I actually can. And I'm sovereign. And I don't subscribe to any of your laws. Especially being American coming here, right? Um, on whatever level. 
I'm down for the battle of free will. People just accept these rules and regulations as the law of God. <laughs> the law of God. Without questioning uh, if they're ethically okay or allowed to be implementing this type of control over people. People never seem to question the government and their laws and are they okay? Are they for the good of humanity? <laughs> Why are these laws in place? Are they actually for the good of humanity or for corporations to be making money? Hi, Fredrina. Good morning. I'm just getting back in my flow. I'm going to rant about my usual. I'm trying not to rant about the cops, but I can't do a real video because they mess my channeling up because now I'm just like, you know, connected to my husband and where he is and what's going on. <laughs> It's not good for channeling any type of negativity or drama like that. It just kind of shuts me down as a channel too. So I thought I'd come share some love. I'm doing core cutting in the Awakening to Ascension class. Brittany is going to do a heart chakra video. And then I'm going to do a heart chakra video either tomorrow or the next day. And I'm very, very into that um, chakra because I had so many lessons <laughs> in grief and loss and all this stuff as a young child. Um, but it really put me on my spiritual path. So... I know we have a lot of collective pain in that chakra from just being separate and going through this illusion too. So I have some really good um, healing tips I'm going to talk about for the heart chakra. It's one of my favorite chakras too. So I'm looking forward to that this week. More heart chakra work. There's not a coincidence I'm in the United Kingdom. I like to make jokes about our selection of light workers here. I like to make jokes. You know that girl that's attacking Francisco and then the one I'm joking about posting her cop feed and making fun of us? She's a UK light worker, I'll just put it that way. So I like to make fun about <laughs> not having a lot of UK light workers here. Me and Cherry are putting a call in out for them and we're finding them, but there just aren't as many. I know there are awake, aware people everywhere all over the world, but there's more of an influx of light workers in America and Canada, sometimes Australia, some other places. Mystic animal owl. I love it. Good. Put them on the wall, too. We need to be focusing on the lotto, too. All right. Someone I saw that used to be in a man of our galactic group, too, won the lotto. They only won maybe $1,500, but it's a start. <laughs> but it's a start. It still lit me up. Because <coughs> I was just talking about the lotto to Lisa and Holly and Yale. They keep buying tickets. I said, I keep telling these three people. They're the only people I see buying tickets. Four people with this person who won. I'm only seeing like four people buying lotto tickets. And I said, someone's going to win big in our groups. And I can't wait to see it on our wall. Because it's going to help unlimited people. And they're manifesting around here. All you have to do is know that you can win the lotto and you will. Um, so it's a way that you can put your manifesting into practice. And I mean, I know several people who have won the lotto and they're awakening path. <coughs> it sounds crazy, right? But if you can believe it, you can manifest anything around here. More lotto tickets, more scratch off tickets. I always say to get these tickets when you're having one of those days where everything's just going amazing and you're in alignment and, you know, things couldn't be better. You know, I had a shit day yesterday. Cops, witch drama, Trisha came back all in one day. So it wasn't a good day for me to buy a lotto ticket. <clears throat> the best day for me to buy a lotto ticket would be when everything's going amazing and I'm flowing and my job's going great, right? And everything's going good. That's the best time to buy a lotto ticket when you're real in alignment, when you're vibing high and things like that. More scratch-offs, more lotto tickets. Pets spayed and neutered. Well, I wouldn't want to spay or neuter my child. <laughs> I don't know because I don't have pets like that. I'm not sure because I think if you have cats and you don't spay or neuter them, they piss all over your house. So I'm not really sure. But when it comes to healing pets, I have the same philosophies that I would a person. That I think your pets need detox too. And they're kind of like detoxing children that you can't just give them the same stuff. And that if you're going to detox a pet, you should use Shea Legit. It's the best thing for any kind of pet, animal, dogs, horses, whatever. Detox your pets too. They're drinking non-filtered water a lot of the time. Yeah, tap water. A lot of times people give their pets tap water and they're not realizing that their pets are getting doses of metals too in that water. They're eating food that's been tampered with too for money. <laughs> you know that. So it's the same kind of racket. You go to the pet pharmacist, sorry, what do you call it, veterinarian for your pet and they'll, you know, bill you a lot of cash, give you a lot of unnecessary care. Vaccines, pet vaccines are huge. 
so I would probably be against vaccinating animals too and things like that. I know that they think that our immune systems are broken, but they're breaking them with these vaccines and that people actually don't need vaccines and that they usually are just healthy and happy. <coughs> and that it's only when we're getting, you know, infiltrated with these vaccines and healthcare we don't need that it's making us sick. So the same goes for animals too. I see a lot of the same stuff happening with animals becoming sick. She legit. I'll put it on here after. Let me get the spelling for you. It's from the Himalayans. It's almost like a mud tar from the Himalayans. S-H-I-L-A-J-I-T. For sure, look it up. It's um, it's a Himalayan <laughs> sticky tar-like substance. It's found in the Tibetan mountains, and it is used in Indian medicine. It is powerful for healing animals. Um, it's probably the best thing you can give them to detox. I always say for kids, you should just be putting turmeric powder in their food or giving them non-milk with some kind of turmeric and honey and things like that. The best thing for kids is, you know, salt and la salt baths with lavender oil because they're very sensitive. That's exactly why we shouldn't be pumping them full of garbage food and, um, you know, viruses and vaccines. Same with animals. They're more sensitive too. The animals are ascending too. All life on this planet is changing from carbon to a crystalline base. I love the crystal skulls we were playing with, playing with at the museum because that's the future of humanity. It's our past too, right? It's an object, an archaeological object that was found in the, from the past. But it's also where we're headed back to with you know doing this ascension that we're crystallizing so you're noticing that animals and kids are getting sick too that a lot of times kids aren't feeling so hot maybe they just need to lay down <laughs> they can't move right they're feeling level grumpy not feeling good nauseous and the same with pets i'm seeing a lot of pets not feeling good i've seen a lot of pets leaving and people leaving the experience too it was sad, <laughs> like maybe the past couple weeks, we have people who are losing their pets, losing people around them, and things like that. This is a hard physical process, so um, we see a lot of animal die-offs that, when I do the end time news, anytime we have a space storm like this, we have, you can go look at the statistics and it's mind-blowing for the amount of fish, mainly fish and animals that are dying off, you know, as we're making this planetary ascension too. No vax for people or animals. Detox your pet. They probably had tap water their whole life if they're like my dog downstairs. He drinks tap water, right? <coughs> so, detox your animals too. Put a little bit of that in their water or their food. They just follow dosage instructions on the bottles, I say, with the vitamins. But we're going to learn that we need to turn to, you know, holistic things that the earth offers for this healing. And that this stuff, see, I wouldn't be here having this conversation if their cures worked. <laughs> if their treatments and their medical stuff worked, right? We wouldn't be having this conversation. But the thing is, people are going there and figuring out that they're getting sicker and sicker dealing with these doctors and that they're not healing anything. They're just giving them pills to mask the symptoms. So, any other questions while I finish smoking? <laughs> not about the cops I'm done talking about that now I feel a lot better getting it out of my system I had to put it on the wall though because when they're going to arrest my husband I just <laughs> people don't understand this I have to put it on the wall then people aren't shocked if they see some over the top YouTube video again or something crazy right I just kind of had to put it out there <laughs> and so please understand my perspective that I had to kind of put it out there I like to be prepared for everything for anything, any way it can go, right? I just like to be prepared here, too. Hi, Holly. I've been off-grid dealing with bullshit. So we need to detox our mind, body, and soul. Our mind is the worst. People are making themselves sick with their thoughts. Yeah, when we think toxic thoughts about someone else, it has a real bad effect on our own body. Our body can't tell the difference. There's only you here in this matrix, according to your body. So, you know, I didn't have the best day yesterday, but I'm sure I wasn't having the greatest thoughts, thinking about all the drama around me, and it'll make you feel not so hot. So, you know, stack up a lifetime of thinking negatively, and it will make you very sick on a physical level. Um, so this is about purifying ourselves, mind, body, and soul in every way that we can. 
I always say that metals never leave the body on their own, so they're telling you that these vaccines are safe for children, but they're not telling you the long-term effects of getting 72 vaccines and the metals stacking up in your body and how that child will end up with a men dementia and Alzheimer's and probably living a very unhealthy quality life at some point. Um, kind of getting, you know, stacked up metal upon metal in their bodies. So metals never leave the body. They will tell you your fluoride is safe to drink. Yes, your fluoride water is considered safe to drink. But they're not telling you what the effects of these metals stacking up in the body are. And you can see the effects. Look around at the people that are sick from it ultimately. Put, make sure that you're having your friends take the chlorella. I went out for my wedding party. <clears throat> and I was around people I didn't know that were sick. Me and Tony just did what we do as light workers, and we told them to get on chlorella, and the vitamins, right? You really need some chlorella, or you might die soon. <laughs> like, <coughs> like honesty, right? You better get some chlorella. You got serious health problems, so that's what I do when I'm around people that I meet that are sick or having health problems. I'm like, you need to get on chlorella, and I try to, you know, give them some basic understanding about this kind of stuff. The doctors are not helping you, obviously, or you wouldn't be sick still. It might take people a while to realize doc the doctors aren't helping them and to be open to holistic type of stuff. For me, it did. I was told, you know, you should try Reiki. I was like, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well. So it took me a little while to figure out that I was just kind of being a guinea pig and that nothing was working that they were trying to do with me or for me. A sick five-year-old. Give her more turmeric, more salt baths, and more time to chill and rest. Um, a lot of these kids can't keep up with all the little manifestor generators. You ever seen one of these generators? Kids, let's look at Tamara's kid. <coughs> Generator written all over her. That little kid is running around, level crazy, always smiling, right? She's like, <laughs> running around, right? I can't even, it will be hard to keep up with someone like that if they're not a generator. So your kid might be a different non-energy type and is trying to keep up with you and all these other little kids that are running around all the time and, you know, can wear down their body. My husband's a projector. He needs more time to recharge than I do, which is mind-blowing to me. <laughs> it's really mind-blowing to me. So, you know, these kids have tough schedules. They're getting thrown into running around like wind-up dolls and doing all this stuff all the time. And they don't have enough time to chill and to integrate with these energies, too. And they're doing powerful jobs. They're little transmuters, right? They are, they're getting put to work the second they get on this planet. They need more chill time, more time to relax, more time to, whether it's doing art projects, playing with rocks, like more meditative type experiences that will chill them out. So, turmeric on their food, give them some kind of milk is bad, some kind of non-milk, like I'm into almond milk or whatever, right? They have a million different milk replacements. Give your kid, give your grandkid or kids turmeric. Mix some powder to organic turmeric in it and throw some honey in it. And they'll actually love to drink it. Most kids love that drink, believe it or not. <laughs> they really do. Give them turmeric with some kind of non-dairy milk. Family of generators. can be hard for other kids to keep up with them. I always think my husband can keep up with me. I'm the type that'll run around and do all this shit in one day. And it can be very draining for non-energy types to be trying to keep up with the generators that are the worker bees that are running around and doing so much crazy stuff. I'm reading these comments. Yep, you can't travel anywhere without giving the dog rabies shots. You can do what I do. It's the same as if a person said they had to get a shot or something. I would say, well, then you need to detox that out. So same with pets. If you're vaccinating your pet, try to get them some Shea Legit. You can just Google it and get it on Amazon. Throw it in their food or their water, and you'll have a much healthier, happier pet. Um, so what do vaccines do to people that make you more irritable, moody, and grumpy? <laughs> I would say they do the same to your animals, too. They'll make them more uh, grumpy, tired, unmotivated, lethargic, level 500 pets, <laughs> more snappy, <laughs> less docile, right? <laughs> this is what it does to humans, pets alike. Um, it can really change the frequencies too. 
from reading these comments. So, yes, it's impossible to avoid the toxins on this planet. It's just in our food, our air, our water. You're just kind of picking up things everywhere. It could just be energies from the matrix. So it's really important that we're taking care of our body. Um, you're going to find your body is capable of everything. Time travel, <laughs> built-in ascension, multidimensional access. So this is our vehicle. Not only it was for the third dimension, is transforming into a vehicle for the fifth dimension. And so we're going to have to change the things that we're putting into our mind, our consciousness, and our body as food. So for me, I had to eat lighter and lighter foods because I need to vibe as high as possible. And I need to be more careful as a manifester, and this should go for everyone, that I need to be more careful about the videos that I'm watching, right? I shouldn't be watching political videos and things like that, that, you know, I'm watching them and it's no big deal to me, but they're going into my subconscious and they're creating reality, not just for me, but for a lot of people since I'm a manifester. So I need to, you know, be very careful with what I'm allowing into my conscious mind since it is programming my subconscious mind. And I know that I can watch politics and think, oh, it's just an illusion, they're robots, you know, it's fake. But my subconscious is going to take it as very real. <laughs> right? I'm like, oh, it's Trump. How fake. Right? But my subconscious is not taking it that way. I always say this. Your subconscious can't discern between, you know, fantasy and reality. So it sees a movie and it thinks it's a real experience that you saw with your own eyes. And it processes it the same way. That's why TVs can, TV shows can give you nightmares. So can movies. Your subconscious is taking these as real um, experiences and it's how we've become so desensitized to everything in the world too. We just turn on TV, oh someone got shot and murdered, oh you know it's just some kind of horrific violence on TV. <laughs> and it desensitizes us in a lot of ways and normalizes a lot of the violence that occurs here and a lot of the negative that goes on too. Yeah, I will for sure put a Shay Legit post up on this wall about the animals too. I will get some on Amazon. I like getting my vitamins on Amazon because I feel they're regulated better. Um, that, you know, especially if you're going to get vitamins, get ones that were made in California. California is unlike the rest of the world and they do heavy metal testing on their vitamins. So some vitamins could have metals in them. So I like to try to get mine on Amazon. I feel they're more legit. And she legit, legit. I think they're more legit, and um, I or if you can get them in California, they're heavily regulated. You know, the government regulates vitamins too, and <laughs> they regulate our whole world here and tell us what is safe and what isn't safe and things like that. We know how that goes. Let's see. I've been seeing a lot more sci-fi stuff come out on Netflix and TV and TV shows too. Where you're seeing a lot more science fiction kind of stuff coming out too with portholes, healers, witches, right? So you can tell that people are becoming more interested in the spiritual because <coughs> you're seeing it seep over into the third dimension in their movies and programs and things that are coming out and things like that. <coughs> Free vitamins, good. Manifest reality, right? We need to, for sure, a lot of people just stop, they kill their manifesting by wanting something and immediately thinking, I can never afford this or I can't afford it. And it just blocks you in so many ways. So, you know what? Manifesting and creating has nothing to do with money at all. We have to put out the vibrations for what we want and the universe will make it happen. Trust me, money is not an object to the universe or this conscious energy that's creating for us. But that's where we get blocked. So I'll think, you know, I want to go here. And then I'll immediately think I'll never have cash for that. There you go. I just destroyed my own dreams. No one else is sabotaging us except for our own thought process. And the thoughts that we have after we have some type of goal or dream or, you know, vision for something that we want. We're like, oh, it won't happen. I don't think I can do this. More unlimiting. I can do the crop circle easy. <coughs> I can do that easier like okay I just know I'm getting a crop circle and I'm gonna video it and it's a done deal already like in my reality that's a little bit easier for me to do start to tackle bigger manifestations that you think you can't do and start to work on um, creating things like that hi Cheryl I'm just reading the comments I did mushrooms the other night too thank God I did them before the cough drama right <laughs> yep I loved it I had a really good time 
Um, someone says to watch uplifting things when you sleep. I like the sleep binaural beats. I have a sleep binaural beat heart chakra meditation on right now. And when I was single and slept alone, I would always listen to um, binaural beats while I slept. They have a lot of really good astral out of body experience ones where if you listen to them, they are on the right frequencies to induce out of body experiences. My roommate in California put on a real loud binaural beat in the living room on the big speakers and I fell asleep in it and it was something he had made to induce out of body experiences and literally I had a crazy out of body experience and memory of coming back in my body when I woke up. <coughs> I've given um, my brother binaural beats to listen to and he did a meditation and had a crazy out of body experience. So they work really good. Sometimes we need the right frequencies to induce these states of consciousness too. So I'm really big on meditation music too to enhance what you're doing. It will help <laughs> so that you're fo you have more focus on the music too so you're not having thoughts ruin your meditation. It'll put you in the zone, put you in the flow. So I'm really big on using music to induce states of consciousness too. I haven't seen an all annihilation. <laughs> can't wait for crop circles that's what I'm thinking about here right I'm gonna get some angel wing crop circles and going back to London I'm going to Stonehenge twice in the next six months and I'm doing crop circles all within the next six months so I have a lot of fun stuff planned that I can do on video I'm for sure getting activated daily uh, every I do Reiki on myself every night now it was something that I had to just start doing when I came to the UK right more healing on ourselves more Reiki on ourselves so now I'm doing a nice little Reiki session on myself when I take a bath every night and I'm for sure asking to be activated asking my crystals to activate me yeah so binaural beats work so good even just asking an intent intent is powerful right that's all magic is, energy and intent. So just have the intent before you go to sleep. Ask the universe that you want to have an out-of-body or astral type of experience. That's how I have used my sleep states to gather a lot of information about the universe, reality, how it works, consciousness, things I've seen with my own eyes <laughs> that I can confirm. Not stuff I read in books that may or may not be true and could have put up, been put out by some kind of satanic agenda, but stuff I've actually seen with my own eyes and I know to be true. So we can gather so much information from those subconscious states, whether it's meditation, our dreams, astraling out of body and we can gather so much information if you have deja vu i have it all the time deja vu i was having a lot of it in london too well when you're in your sleep state you know what's coming i know that we think we don't hear but when you go to sleep at night you're able to view your life all your lessons coming up you're able to tweak those lessons change them around if you don't like them right we're a lot we're able to do a lot in our sleep state so sometimes we have these feelings like i think i've seen this before I feel like I've seen this event that I'm experiencing now before, right? Glimpses, maybe visions of what's coming, premonitions. That's because we do know what's coming. Um, you're always able to see that and access that on those subconscious levels. I think that the astral gives me a good understanding of how it works here in this dimension. Because I understand the sleep states really good. So I'm trying to equate that into knowledge about this realm, this place. That is not much different. We've just been really mind fucked into believing that it is, but it's really not much different. We could be creating like our total dream reality here and none of these earth things would even be getting in the way. So we're kind of getting to that place. Lower heavens. I'm getting a lower heaven t-shirt. Allison's making one. She made one already, but I, I want to get the, I'm going to get the lower heavens t-shirt. I'm going to wear it on feed soon. We're manifesting that too. We're putting our graphics <coughs> skills to use. I'm seeing like the most amazing teamwork around here. Binaural beats help the frequency in my house so much too. When I just have them on in my house, you can tell that it's going to influence the frequency of your house too, right? Put it on certain frequencies. Binaural beats are really good for the bathtub. I was listening to the um, aura clearing chakra one last night. And if you have binaural beats on your water, right, it's going to affect the vibrations of the water a lot. We're made of water. That's why binaural beats and music really influence our frequency. So if you have them on in the bathtub, um, they're really powerful near the water. Thank <laughs> you. 
Label your water. Get some tape. <laughs> like homework. Get some tape. I think I'm gonna find some tape and label, start labeling my mermaid cup or something, right? I'm gonna find some tape or some labels. I might get on Amazon and try to manifest some labels or something cute, right? Stickers, I don't know. Get some stickers, labels, scotch tape, make a label. Start to label your cup, too. It's been scientifically proven if you want to put right love or hate on some water, it's gonna change those frequencies, right? So, um, I think we need to be making more moon water labeling our water too and definitely raking our water at the least so i already reiki all my food and water because that's really powerful for changing the frequencies of your food or water just through prayer or reiki new pendulum i love it i love any of those kind of spiritual tools for me cards were very much training wheels for me um they really gave me i was always around cards even as a kid and they're like they're a way that you can tune into the other realm or your higher self for information some people like like the chakra rocks when they're practicing scanning people and things like that these are little tools that you can use to practice tuning into the other realm and then you'll get really good so more pendulums more cards those will train you in you know receiving information or messages from the other realm in a lot of ways so i'm all for these spiritual type of tools if you know me I'm gonna get off of here. I just wanted to tell you guys I'm alive and I'm cool. I'm going through a crazy shit here, but I wouldn't have it any other way because I'm just planning on leveling up real crazy too, right? So, so I'm leveling up over here, clearly getting tested. Sometimes the universe gets a, okay, I see the test kind of answer back. Sometimes they get a fuck you back to the police. It depends on the mood we're in at our house, right? <laughs> Today they're getting a fuck you. We're not complying back. <laughs> Today they're getting, we don't feel like complying with you. I guess it depends on our mood here, but we're definitely getting tested and leveling up. I told P he may need to forgive the government too. <laughs> it may be your lesson to forgive. And he said, forgive who? I said, I don't know. Maybe the cops and the government. I don't know. Sometimes the lesson is forgiveness. That they're doing fucked up shit, but we can end with us. <laughs> right? We can choose to not per keep perpetuating the situation and we can just take the higher road and just be like, whatever, whatever over it, right? <laughs> whatever over it, ignoring it, moving on with our lives, getting back to prison planet. So sometimes we have a choice as alchemists that we can transmute that hate into love and it can just end with us right now. More forgiveness. I said, I don't really get this situation because I am the violet flame. <laughs> If you guys know my aura, I really am the violet flame. Um, it's probably the most heavy color that I work with and have mastered. So I really carry that violet flame with me anywhere I'm going. <clears throat> and I've done so much healing on my husband and so much work with the violet flame on him. And that burns off any karma. So I said, I'm not really understanding the situation because normally when you have situations with the cops or the government, it's relating to karmic, karma less, karmic lessons. So I don't really understand <laughs> these lessons as an observer and someone that kind of close to them. I don't really understand these lessons because I've done so much healing with the violet flame, which is probably the most effective thing that you can do in this situation too. Um, so, you know, if you're going through any of this kind of stuff, more violet flame, it really will help. More violet flame, more sage, right? I'm doing a self-care day. Like I said, we have a coronal hole facing Earth, so we can expect for the energy to amp up again in like three more days. Um, it doesn't matter what's going on with um, the energy cycles due to the eclipse. I'm going to follow my normal built-in internal compass, and I'll be treating this week like my week of rest. So I know that it's like a never-ending storm that we're going through energetically, but it's really important that if you are tired that you're listening to your body. I know it can feel like if you're like me that I feel if I take today off, my whole world will fall in, but it's cool. Listen to your body. Rest more if that's what you're being called to do. Drink a ton of water. I've been chugging liquids for days, like chugging water. But it will really help you um, assimilate the energy better. We're in an integration period right now where we're going through a lot of upgrades. We're integrating before we go through some more upgrades. So it's really important that you're listening to your body while you're going through that integration and resting more. I'm getting off of here. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else, right? <laughs> All right. If you guys are in our Awakening to Ascension group class on here, Make sure you guys go find my post and comment to get your cords cut. It's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to have a chill day. I'll be cutting cords. <laughs> so I'll be cutting cords. Go find my post too. If you guys are in 
this space and you're not in my Awakening to Ascension group, for sure send an invite and make sure you're in our other Sparks of Divine Light Healing groups. I'm kind of appalled at some people are in these areas and some people aren't in these areas, so make sure that you guys are in the other groups too. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll put a Shayla Jit post on this wall right now with some of the benefits too. Love and light.